All right, so welcome back to We Love Orchids. And today we are doing a special video. We are in Middleburg, Pennsylvania, which is about four hours from where we live in the Bronx, New York City. And today we're with our friend Wade, who is the caretaker, uh, the, 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 the person who has this marvelous orchid garden. The mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> so this, you know, we come here about twice a year and we, we finally uh, decided to let, you know, let's do an interview with, with Wade and just ask him a few questions. So he's ready. He's ready to... I think I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. <laughs> he's ready. He's so ready. Eliana is actually going to be the one asking all the questions. And I'll, I'll let them uh, do their thing. And of course, modern technology. I'm going to be asking some questions. Um, my husband and I went over and wrote down. So the first question, Ray. <laughs> How did you start cultivating orchids? I started uh, where... Where I worked, it was a greenhouse, and I became very interested in plants in general. And as you get more interested in different types of plants, you start going towards the unusual things. And I finally found an orchid someplace, and it bloomed for me, and that did it. I was hooked. Wow. I'm telling you, these orchids, guys, you're in trouble now. Okay, second question. What is your favorite orchid? It's really hard because I, I, I like, I love lots of different kinds of orchids, but I, I usually end up saying Grasso nodosa. Oh, wow. It, it is, in my opinion, it is, as far as species goes, it, it is the best thing to get. You have fragrance, you've got the unusual uh, way that it blooms. Mm -hmm. It is an easy bloomer. Uh, and I I just love it. Well, I love Nodosas too. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is, how many children and grandkids do you and your beautiful wife have? And do any of them gravitate to growing orchids some way? I haven't been able to convince any of them to oh. grow yet. Uh, I, I don't, I'll never stop trying, but uh, my, my wife and I met uh, later in life, so we each had a son. Mm -hmm. And between those two, believe it or not, we have 11 grandkids. Wow, that's amazing. And we just had our third great-grandchild born. Oh. Uh, it was uh, less than a week ago. Oh, congratulations. So, it, it was hard work, but we managed it. Wow, <laughs> amazing. So I have a side question to that question. Mm -hmm. Are they allowed to come here? To <laughs> oh, yes. Um, the the great-grandchildren, though, they, they are up in Maine with uh, my, okay. my wife's son and his family uh, are in Maine. So we don't get to see them very often. They don't get down here very oh, often. Okay. But uh, we, we love it when we do get to see them. Okay. So, in the comments below, congratulate Wade, okay? <laughs> okay. Next question. How many years have you been crossbreeding, and what lab do you send the seeds to when they are ready, if you can share this with our YouTube audience? Well, right now, there is a, a very good friend of mine that is doing seed sowing, mm -hmm. uh, and he just does it for people that he knows. So okay. uh, I'm not going to mention the name. Okay. Uh, but I've been breeding probably maybe a dozen years. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, so well, really, when when you think of it, I've been growing orchids for 45, 46 years now, and so I wish I would have started a lot sooner. And for those of you who wish to do it, I encourage you to. Uh, to give it a try, uh, find a lab that you can send it to, and uh, or or even better, uh, learn how to do it yourself. I I've heard that there is uh, small laminar flow hoods that you can buy for 
less than two hundred dollars well, uh, off the net, and it is uh, something to really consider. Uh, it, you'll learn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's great advice. Thank you, Wayne. So our fifth question, what advice would you give someone who would like to start this orchid growing hobby to possibly begin a small business? Um, well, it's very difficult to, to do this as a small business and make much money. Uh, especially, I, I would not advise it if, if it, you think it's going to be your sole source of income. Got it. Uh, also, you really need something bigger than what I have to, to do it right. I would advise starting with at least a 30 by 50 greenhouse. Wow, you heard that, guys? Pay attention. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. It, it's not a small undertaking, and it's a lot of work. Yes, I, um, I imagine. Yep. Okay, so our sixth question. Can you give us the name... Of the orchids you have bred, or at least some. Oh boy! Uh, well, we have one. Uh, where is it? Right behind us here. Oh wonderful! Uh, and I have not named these yet. Uh, but here, this is a, a little tolumnia. It is. Uh, it's already lost one flower, and it only had three because it's uh, first bloom seedling. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a Calypso Queen crossed with Guyanense variety Algo Rubra. And it's, uh, it produces a couple of different color forms. It has a white color form, and then there is like a, a ruddy, orangish brown color form, which is uh, usually a little bit smaller flower when it does that. Beautiful. Uh, so that's one. Uh, I've got several bulbophyllums that I have not bloomed yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe one of them has your name on it, right? Oh, that, that I did not breed. Somebody else did the breeding on that and asked me if they could name it for okay, me. Okay, wonderful. So there is a bulbophyllum Wade Holland box. Oh. Uh, <laughs> cool. There, there is also a, yes. a little encyclia here. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this is not in flower right now, but uh, it is uh, Guatemalensis cross with Mary Moats, and you see it did flower, and that's a three inch pot, so it, it's it's not a really large plant, um, um, and I I really plan to uh, get both of those named, and there's uh, there's others in the works. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, and then our final question. Hopefully, Wade is enjoying this as much as we are. Um, so thank you, Wade, for giving us an amazing opportunity sure. to ask you these uh, few questions. Uh, would you like to tell our viewers uh, any thoughts you may have or any advice? Other advice? Uh, other advice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this has given me enjoyment and love for most of my life. I started when I was 23 years old, and I'm almost 70. Uh, I I love growing orchids. I love helping people to grow orchids. Uh, so take the plunge. It's a deep rabbit hole. It really <laughs> is. But I promise you, if, if you are interested in orchids, you will learn every day of your life as long as you live. And uh, that that that's a really rewarding thing for any hobby. Thank so. you, Wade. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for letting us come in and invade your, your privacy. Yeah, I'm yeah. coming back into the show. <laughs> sure. There he is. Well, yeah. I also want to thank him for taking the time and great advice. We've taken the plunge, sort of. Um, yeah. it, it does make us happy, and this is why we, that's why we love orchids, and that's why we name our channel We Love Orchids. And we encourage you know viewers, young people, if they want to start. It doesn't have to even be orchids. It could be cactuses or whatever. You know, plants are amazing organisms that we you know take care of, and they take care of us through their beauty and through, they provide oxygen, of course. And, uh, you it's know, amazing. so uh, wait. You know, we're here, but this is not 
you know, we're going to continue coming. You know, we, we love coming here, and uh, it's a great uh, place to, to visit. And learn, because Wade gives us a lot of advice. So, Every time I ask him something, I, I get a wolf Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to shake his hand. I'm going to hug him. <laughs> All right, That's guys. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys.